channel today we are going to study about the subject that subject is animal diversity 3 in that chapter 2 that is introduction to phylum protocordata in that subtopic is 2.1 that is silent features of subphylum with two examples of hemicodata that is Belanoglossus and Rhabdopleura. So, we are just going to revise what up to yet we studied. Okay. So, phylum chordata. So, silent features of the phylum chordata we studied. That is, presence of nerve cord, notochord and presence of gill slits are the three main basic characteristics of the phylum chordata. Again, this phylum chordata is divided into two subgroups. That is, ocraniata or proto chordata. Ocraniata, O means absence of cranium. Cranium is nothing but the brain box or the proto chordata. Protos means primitive. Primitive chordates are without the cranium or the brain box. So, you can see here no brain box or the cranium. Here, notochord may persist throughout the life as it is not replaced by the vertebral column. So, you can see here, again this ocraniata or protochordata is divided into two groups. You can see here, urochordata and cephalochordata. Again, hemichordata were included in your syllabus. Okay, so the next is group ocraniata. So, ocraniata, that is, o means absence, cranium means the brain box. So, this ocraniata, also known as protochordata. Protos means primitive, corda means chordate animals. So, primitive chordate animals. So, in group protochordata, so all animals are marine, small, primitive or the lower chordates. Those organisms lack head or skull or the cranium, jaws and the brain and the vertebral column. Again, notochord in some form is confined to tail in the larval stage which disappears in the adult stage. Okay, again in some forms like cephalochordates, the notochordates extend along the entire body. That is, presence of notochord from the top to the bottom of the body. The next point is the dorsal tubular nerve cord, notochord and the gill slits and myotomes are usually present. As we know that nerve cord is there, notochord is there and gill slits are there. What, what is myotomes? Myotome nothing but the block of muscles which are usually present in the organism. So here feeding is usually, usually ciliary feeding. What is mean by ciliary feeder? It is a type of method in which the movement of cilia causes a current of water to be drawn towards and through the animals and microorganisms in water are filtered out by cilia. So this type of feeding is known as ciliary feeding. Sexes are separate or united. As we know that when sexes are separate, those organisms are known as dioecious organisms. And when the sexes are united, we call those animals as hermaphrodite animals. Next is subphylum hemichordata. So as we know that this group Ocraniata or protochordata includes three subphylums that is hemichordata, urochordata and cephalochordata. Now, today we are going to study about the silent features of these animals that is hemichordata, subphylum of hemichordata. So, here those organisms are exclusively marine, solitary or colonial organisms, body soft, fragile vermiform, unsegmented, bilaterally symmetrical and triploblastic. So here body is soft in nature, fragile, vermiform and unsegmented body is there, bilaterally symmetrical. As we know that when uh, we divide the body from the center, 
okay so body is divided into two equal part or into two equal halves that is left and the right so the two parts of the body are nothing but the exact mirror image of each other this type of symmetry is known as bilateral bilateral symmetry again the organisms are triploblastic as we know that what is triploblastic organism so the basic germ layers that is ectoderm endoderm and the mesoderm were present in the organisms those organisms are known as triploblastic organisms again body divided into three distinct regions that is proboscis collar and the trunk here the coelom is enterocoelous as we know that what is mean by enterocoelous coelom that is the origin of coelom from the outgrowth or the outpouches of digestive tract and that is endodermal in origin so here the coelom is enterocoelous that is procoelous mesocoelous and the metacoelous coelom is there again okay. the next character is digestive tube is complete straight or u shaped hollow buccal diverticulum is present into the proboscis earlier it is considered as notochord that's why this hemichordates earlierly it is considered as protochordates one of the protochordate but now nowadays this hemichordata studied as one of the separate invertebrate phylum okay not included in the group that is acrinieta now the pharyngeal gill slits were present the gill slits are one to several pairs again feeding is ciliary filter feeder as we know that the cilia ciliary movement or the cilia because of the ciliary movement the water drawn out and that is drawn towards and through the animal and the microorganisms in water are filtered out by the cilia and the organisms feed on those microorganism circulatory system is a simple and open type of circulatory system as we know that, that so in the closed type of circulatory system there is a complete circuit of a uh, heart and veins uh, arteries were there but in open type of circulatory system so circulatory system open into the hemocell or the spaces of the body spaces of the organism next is excretion for the excretion as we know that so toxic toxic product of the body so we have to get rid of that product so here the single proboscis gland is present again the nervous system nervous system is primitive and it consists of subdermal nerve plexus what is nerve plexus meaning of nerve plex is it is a network of intersecting nerve known as nerve plexus again reproduction reproduction here is a sexual type of reproduction sexes are separate gonads 1 to 10 fertilization fertilization is external that is male and female of the sex that release their gonads that release their gonads into the water in water fertilization occur that is fertilization occur in the sea water that is out of the body the fertilization occur that's why fertilization is external again the development is a direct or indirect with free swim, with free swimming larva okay so you can see here what is the difference between the indirect and the direct development so in indirect development so the organism that shows the larval form okay so larval form is there again in direct development newborn animals resembles the miniature adult here the larval stage were absent example snail and snail and a fish all mammals and reptiles included including bird undergo the direct development as the young animal matures it may grow bigger but does not fundamentally change its body form 
okay so in direct development that is larval form is not there okay larval form is skipped by the organism and the newborns are the miniature of the adult you can see here the example of the hemichordata that is example is balanoglossus and rhabdopleura thank you